Hey guys, and welcome back. <clears throat> um, so, I've done a few uh, changes to this since yesterday. Um, the ambient occlusion is probably the, the main one. <clears throat> um, but I, uh, I... I don't remember if I did this, but I've lightened up parts of the... Um, the metal. Um, so the parts that hold the globe are lighter and the base is lighter and um, <clears throat> although this that means that this pole is a different shade it's not quite as obvious uh, I mean think sort of thinking of making it a little darker so what I sort of plan to do and just make sure this is not cutting off anything else so the good thing about the way this is all structured is that a lot of the layers are like a black or white grey scale layer so changing anything underneath that will keep the same constraints as the other layers um, so if I just go to brush crank that up change this pole here to a it might even go a bit darker yeah let's give us that sort of darker bronze color there <clears throat> um but yeah i guess i've been, for the most part everything that i've changed has been a normal sort of the normal practice of things that I've done over the, the in the past um, so I've got I've brightened the gold as I said before um, we've got our glow oh. huh, that shouldn't be in there uh, so our ambient occlusion our glow which is the glow from the light on the um, uh, the parts that support it, um, I've done. What I did is I moved the UVs over to just one side so that it's easier to not have such a obvious seam. Like there will be a very symmetrical seam, but <laughs> that's it's not too bad and you can tell that it's actually happened because the ambient occlusion has only happened on one side and not not the other um, so a bit def definitely more wasted space here in this texture like I said before it's not that well optimized but for what it does it does things well uh, but I wouldn't I wouldn't advise against this kind of texture work unless you are not I'm not rushed but just trying to get as much as I can uh, done <coughs> so and moving down I think I had all these layers before but I've got a gray um, cloud grayscale cloud and the metal there, so that's looking good. Let's just save that. <coughs> um, just wondering what else I want to do. This might actually bring that back to overlay so that you're not getting, so we're getting more color variation. Yeah, that looks good actually. Prefer that better. <coughs> Yeah, that's good. I like that. Um, so, yeah, lots of color variation in the metal, which is good. Um, the we can forget about this side because it's this side that has the 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 texture. So n none of this really bright white stuff happening there. see that there's much else to do. You can see where the 
holders go on the um on the jewel so they hit hit there and they hit just the bottom there as well and they sort of come down the the pole a bit too um, actually you know what we can do go right to the top new land go bolts just gonna put be silver. I might just put a bolt. Two bolts at the bottom of this just so that it looks like it's being held in by something and not just nothing. There's one there. We'll do a drop shadow, distance zero, size two, and an inner glow from the center. At least now that there's something holding this all to together as well. All right, that looks good. Um, we might make this a short because um, I have to make something else for. Actually, no, there won't be a video tomorrow because I'll be out all afternoon. Um, so I guess I won't see you tomorrow and it'll be the weekend after that which is supernova so hopefully I can get some footage for that and I'll um but I'll see you on Monday I guess yeah so hopefully you have a good weekend and I'll talk to you again on Monday alright cheers guys